let's talk about this. I thought this was absolutely hilarious. So this is courtesy of New York Times. And it's an article that I've been meaning to read for a while, but I haven't got around to it. So I thought, why not talk about it with you guys live on the flipping podcast? So it's courtesy of the New York Times. The title is, they promoted body positivity, then they lost weight. Do plus size influencers owe their followers an explanation um, when their bodies change? Now, of the basis of this, I'm sure it's going to be a topic about fat acceptance and shit and with the fat movement and probably Ozempic and whatnot. And off the bat, I just want to say that my interpretation of fat acceptance was mostly about making it okay, making it societally okay for people to praise fat bodies and for women, especially young girls, not to feel uncomfortable that they don't look like a model or something. I thought that was the case. I'd never thought the fat acceptance thing was, oh, let's try and convince people that being fat is better than being in shape or being healthy or being skinny. Now, I, I didn't think that was the case, but I think unfortunately along the way, radicals within that group of people, because I think every group, every subsection, every sub, every subgroup, every sub, every, every group of people, collective, whatever it may be, has a radical element. So I think the radical element of the fact acceptance movement went, all the way to the end it's like saying oh being fat is okay being fat is healthy actually just because i'm fat doesn't mean i've got diabetes all this sort of nonsense was getting trotted out but i think it's, it did a really disservice to fat acceptance because the whole reason of fat acceptance existing was that it gave people that were fat a re it gave people a reason it gave people that were fat the confidence to say hey i know i don't look like the conventional person the regular person is meant to look but it's okay for me to exist, right? I should not be panned. I should not be made to feel less than just because I'm bigger than you kind of thing. That's obviously true. Because I think a lot of the time, especially online and shit, I'm guilty of it myself. Um, we can be extremely mean and extremely unkind to people who are fat just because they happen to be fat. And Wings of Redemption and Boogie are probably two of the people that kind of come to mind in that regard. I don't think people would be just as much as annoyed with Wings or Boogie if they weren't fat, obese, lazy pieces of shit. Do you know what I mean? But because they are, you get more annoyed by it. But I thought that was the reason why. So I'm sure it kind of got copped to the mood. But I've always been fascinated with this side of things where it becomes, you're the influencer where your whole brand is about being fat and the thing about it that i love personally is that it inspires a lot of people to feel comfortable in their own skin because there's probably a lot of people out there i think probably there's more people than not who are fat so you end up having this big community of people who kind of rally around you and kind of you know look up to you because you're kind of leading the charge you'll have this exude this confidence and this assuredness that they would never have um especially looking the way that they do but then it changes over time and they lose weight and i've always been curious about what happens to that what happens to that person after the fact especially when their whole brand is being a fat acceptance person so let's see what this article says um da -da -da -da. Um, Tiana James used to love looking at photographs Drum Davis posted of herself on Instagram. Miss Davis, a plus size model, included pictures of her upcoming model campaigns alongside selfies. For Miss James, 22, Miss Davis' feed was a revelation. I wanted to feel comfortable in my body, and she was like me in so many ways. So it made easier. So so it made it easier to be myself. If I could find this person so beautiful, she was bigger. I could find myself beautiful too. Miss Davis gained a following through posts that criticized diet culture as she built her career as a curve model. She wore up to size 16 or double XL, most prominently for doing a California fashion brand known for floral prairie dresses. Um, it's typically worn by more willowy women. <laughs> willowy woman what's that fucking mean um her feed was running commentary on the unrealistic expectation to conform to a thin ideal the quote a flat stomach won't change your life it's exhausting being afraid and ashamed of the parts of your body then over the past few months miss davis shrank she still posted arsy selfies miss james loved but photos of soft belly rolls were replaced by sharp cheekbones and, cl and clavicles she continued to write in her confessional style sharing her feelings about everything from constipation to career insecurities but miss davis stopped posting her habitual rant against fat phobia and she didn't explain why or how she had lost so much weight uh oh to me miss james miss davis silence felt like a betrayal it made me feel like she was really that she was being dishonest with her community i don't want to say it was owed to us but it was such a dramatic change 
I think it is owed to you. I think people get a bit shy about saying this whole O thing because it makes you look like a bit of a stan. But I think if the person's brand is about being fat and about that journey and about how it is to live like that, then they do owe it to their fan base to be like, hey, I'm not fat anymore and here's why. You do owe them an explanation. You do. I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't, you don't owe them an explanation. No, you do owe those people because most of those people too are the ones that have basically afforded you the lifestyle you have. This lifestyle you have where you have these cool rugs, this fancy mirror, a cute dog, plants everywhere. They afforded you that fucking lifestyle. So you owe them an explanation. Give them one. It continues. The body positivity movement has recently faltered in the cultural uh, moment when Finn is back in again. Thanks in part to the rise of the new drug like Ozempic that are used for weight loss. Celebrities, models and influencers like Miss Davis who once celebrated their curves <laughs> exactly are grappling with how to discuss their smaller bodies while their followers feel as if they've abandoned the cause they've used to champion, encourage people to challenge their weight stretch stigma and to accept themselves as they are. You know what's funny about this? The funny thing about this is that we all knew this to be true. Deep down, we all knew. The fact acceptance movement largely was a whole bunch of bullshit. I think it was good for people to be to make them feel comfortable, to feel confident in who they are. But this idea that being fat is okay was nonsense. We all know that's not the case. Most of us would love to be like 20 to 30 pounds lighter than what we are, especially if we're a bit bigger. And usually, I've always said personally, especially when it comes to especially no forget that men and women personally i'm going to revise my opinion i've always said men and women you probably go a long way to improve your attractiveness your ability to wear nicer clothes your confidence if you actually went and lost 10 to 20 pounds forget 30 losing 10 to 20 pounds can do way more for your mental health for your confidence um for your assuredness for your sense of self for your, for your wardrobe than any amount of books or whatever else can do for you i swear to god it can but obviously it's hard to do it's hard to diet it's hard to work out it's hard to be consistent with those type of things like it's just difficult to do so when a new drug comes along that says hey use this three times a week and you're gonna be you're gonna look the best you've ever looked everyone's gonna run to it but this is one of those things that i never would have anticipated with Ozempic. It's one of those unintended consequences. Ozempic comes around and it suddenly decimates the fat acceptance movement because now all these fatties who were talking about how fat is beautiful, they were only saying that because they were actually too lazy to get on a treadmill. They were too lazy to not put down the fucking croissants and shit. And now that they have the ability to do so, or now they have the ability to lose the weight and it's easy, all it takes is literally injecting themselves in the stomach. Anybody can do that suddenly now you know this whole fucking fat acceptance thing is gone which is a real shame because i feel like if you're really about that life you should ride it until the fucking wheels fall off do you know what i mean ozempic or not let's continue this is the drum this is that woman right cool um miss davis um said that she had long agonized over how to publicly address her weight loss <laughs> Yeah, that's a hard one. To be fair, I have sympathy for her. If you are a fat influencer, how do you talk about this? If you're a fat influencer, how do you speak about this? Like, without sounding patronizing, without being insulting, uh, also without feeling like you're overly explaining yourself, you know? Because that's something people don't like to do. Even though you, I feel like you should. If you're a content creator, if you're a public figure and people come to you for a certain opinion for a certain point of view you 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 champion a particular way of life and then you change it you owe it to your fans to tell them why you do i don't give a fuck you owe it to your fans but it can be hard where to start i think just getting on front front of the camera and be like hey guys it's me again and doing the whole youtuber sigh <sighs> that that would definitely help but yeah this is a this is an amazing article Despite what some of her followers suspected, she wasn't on Ozempic. Yeah, right. The truth that she had relapsed into disordered eating practices that she had struggled with throughout her life was hard for her to admit, even to herself. How had she succumbed to the same pressures she had warned her nearly 200,000 followers about? So she's trying to say she's not on Ozempic. She's actually, she's actually got an eating disorder. Come on, girl. Come on. What's your eating disorder? Eating too much? Let's be real. The only thing that people are going to be okay with is a very detailed explanation. Yes, you owe it to them. 
which is so- not something I can write in a caption. Oh, suddenly you can't write it. Look at this girl. 23 year old said by Zoom from her bedroom in the woods in Mendocino, California. Mendocino, um, where she lives with her mother. She didn't want to beat herself up over fully relapsing, but she also emphasized to her followers like Miss James. But she emphasized, what's it? She emphasized with her followers. I gather all these women to follow me because I'm going to be inspiring, make them feel empowered. How can I still expect their attention and support? Miss Davis grew up in a small town in Northern California. She put herself up on a diet um, by the time she was 10. After she began to develop breast, her weight fluctuated. But when she was thinner, she said she could fit into Abercrombie miniskirts that her friends wore and teachers took her more seriously. <laughs> what? This is this is definitely California brain. She's saying that she used to fit into Abercrombie. Like, this is kind of like, a, I guess, a... Um, something to like brag about i used to fit into abercrombie miniskirts and then she's saying that how her teachers took her more seriously when she was skinny because she wore abercrombie miniskirts what you mean your male teachers went to fuck you is that what are you talking about here huh she was discovered through her instagram shortly after she graduated from high school and soon landed a job at doyne's first curve model she has since modeled for much bigger brands including levi's sephora and the north face uh, much bigger brands lols she became a female fixture at doyne's website and designers have called for her long time muse and named the pair of jeans that came in extended <laughs> no i don't want that i'm sorry designers have called her their long time muse and named a pair of jeans that came in extended sizes after her. Don't you dare name an extendo pair of jeans after me. Don't don't name the gargantuan denims right after me, mate. Don't name the fucking you know the gorilla denims after me. Don't name the don't name the fucking lorry truck denims after me, bro. You know what I mean? Fuck off, mate. Or the fucking white van denims after me. Extended van, yeah, horrible. As Miss Davis grew up online. It felt natural to post about all the facets of her life. Not that she was not not just modeling, but her racial justice activism, her artwork, her evolving relationship with her body. <laughs> These terms, man. Evolving relationship with her body. What does that even mean? Evolving relationship to her body. Anyway, looking back, she said, in her passion to share her own learning process, she unintentionally positioned herself as an expert on body <laughs> it was all a mistake um she unintentionally positioned herself as an expert on body acceptance when um when that was not the case it was humbling experience and part of the reason that she's not yet broached her weight loss publicly i'm scared of being judged or yelled at or letting people down which is ironic because i think my silence is letting people down more than me take talking about it exactly um some of the comments let me just see who's this miss i want to see what she looks like miss davis fat acceptance let's see what her fucking instagram looks like i'm actually curious to see what what she looked like in the past how fat was she really what's the actual name uh, what is her name what is her name miss davis i don't know what her fucking name is that's what i want to know what's her actual name here let's see if i can find it what's her name Oh, there it is. That's her Instagram. That's is that her or is that somebody else? Oh no, that's Doreen, Doreen, Doreen. Let's see if we can find this. I want to really want to see what this is all about. Let's see what she actually looked like. Like how fat was she really? Because I think they're making a big deal out of this, but I don't know if she was actually that chunky. Let's see. It's loading here. Bear with me a second as we get this to load up because I'm really curious to see how chunky was this young lady. Was she big, big or big, big? Let's see. This is the one, right? Is that her? Is that what her name is, right? Shop. Shop ARQ. So if you want to find herself on thingy. Oh, no, that's not her. Is that her? That can't be her. Yeah, I don't know who the hell this person is, but that can't be her. And I don't think that dro- that Drooney account is her either. This looks like a brand. Huh. I mean, no, that, that is her. Okay, this is the girl. Okay, cool. This is her because she's lost the weight. So let's see what she looks like when she's a bit when she was a bit more chunkier. Let's see. I'm curious to see what she end up looking like because she definitely looks a lot skinnier now. She definitely yeah. She's there's a loads more pictures of her in her face. She's giving loads of face pictures here. Loads of face. Jesus Christ! How many pictures does she have of herself? Fucking hell! This is what it's like to be an influencer, isn't it? You just have to be addicted to taking selfies. Like, look how many pictures she has of herself. Like, it just doesn't stop. 
God damn. He just keeps going. A pictures of herself, herself, me, me. Look, how many of these has she got? Where she's kind of looking up like, with a little mouth thing going on. She's got so many of those pictures of herself, like from the from looking up wise. Is that a bigger note? She's still she's been skinny for a while though. What's this what's this article talking about? I don't really see her being fat anywhere here. Where was this fat influence? I d I don't see it. I just see like a really arty skinny girl. Okay, maybe it's here. Maybe a little bit there. Still not really. Maybe she deleted it. That'd be funny. Maybe she deleted all her pictures when she was fat. <laughs> maybe she deleted every single picture of herself when she was fat this is incredible she was a fat acceptance person and then she had an eating disorder also known as ozempic and then suddenly she went through her entire instagram and deleted all the pictures of herself when she was fat you know there's not a single one of her fat i can't see one picture of her fat or are they or is this the new york times being liberal with fat acceptance because her bmi is high or something because she doesn't look fat to me this is not a fat girl to me in the slightest so i don't know what they're talking about here but anyway it doesn't matter Let's go back to the article. Fuck all this shit. I think that's her there, though, to be fair. That is that is actually her there. That's what she used to look like there, actually. So she definitely went through Instagram and took everything off. But I don't know, you know? If I'm a, if I, if I'm a fat girl, I wouldn't look at her as an example or as a role model because she doesn't even look that fat. She just looks like a, a, a cute girl that was got a bit chubby. You know, like a girl that got in a relationship. That's what she looks like. She doesn't look like a person that's been like morbidly obese her entire life, you know? You can tell a girl who's been like morbidly obese from when she was nine as opposed to a girl who just got, you know, happy fat. She got a new boyfriend, maybe got a new job, maybe living at home now. Like, you know, that's what she looks. She doesn't even look that, you know? She doesn't even look like gross, you know? You know what I mean. You guys, you guys know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. Um... Anyway, let's see. Some of the people who left comments on Miss Davis' Instagram about her body were kind. Worried about you. Hope you're okay. This sort of rapid and continued weight loss is concerning, someone said. Another one said, sickly skinny. These are all hate. By the way, these are all jealous haters. These are all jealous fucking haters. Most people in the comments would love it, would die if they could fucking look like this one day in their life. One day. They would absolutely faint if they could look like this. One day. So then people talking about it, so I'm like, definitely, definitely fucking jealous. Um, I figure it must be Ozempic like everybody else. She doesn't want to talk about it, which is a little off brand because she's so open about everything else. That comment told New York Times, um, that comment told New York Times that she loved Miss Davis regardless of her size, but still expected answers. She talks about everything. Every pimple has her, she, every pimple she has on her face, every rash she gets on her arm. So why hasn't she mentioned this? She completely altered her body and she won't cop to it. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love how fucking demanding and entitled people are. But again, I think they I think they are deserving of an explanation. Because this girl went from looking like above to looking like this. Do you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. You have to you have to explain what's going on. Explain to us what's going on, like. Come on. Explain. Explain. You're giving collarbone and shit. Come on, man. You gotta explain what's the deal here. You can't just be acting like nothing's happening. Do you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. She went from looking like what? She went from looking like this to this. Come on. She has to explain. She has to explain. She has to. I I really do sympathize with these kids. I'm not going to lie. She's got to talk about it. She has to talk about it. She can't pretend like nothing's happening and it's all good. Nah, bitch. You got to talk about that shit. Like, look, she went, look, look what she looks like now. Look, from that to, from, from this to this. <laughs> you gotta talk about it girl you gotta talk about it um if you're sorry she completely altered the body and she won't cop to it said another instagram follower in an interview she purchased doing items because miss davis modeled them including her namesake jeans if you're going to go out there using your body to make a living and position yourself as a brand and then walk away from your brand i think you can't expect the community around you not to react i definitely agree Right now, body positivity influencers who've decided to be open about losing weight have also had to navigate community that's often disappointed and angry. The plus size influencer, Rosie Blair, who's taking um, Monjaro, who's taking Monjaro, what, is, what the fuck is Moon Monjaro, seemed defiant when she posted. Full transparency, I have zero remorse or shame for being public about my weight loss. Two years ago, I couldn't wipe my, my own ass. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I couldn't wipe my own ass. Critics called her ableist and self hating. I left body positivity community because I wanted to be defined by the interest outside of my body. 
to be fair that is a good point to make like being an influencer that's even if you're skinny making your influence just about your body is a bit odd in it like it's strange especially if you're not like a fitness person you're just somebody that's like oh look here's my flat stomach here's my elbows here's my knees like it's a bit strange there should be more to you than that like you're not into even to coffee anyway um one creator posted a how-to guide for followers who are wrestling with the reaction of posting oh no one creator posted a how-to guide for followers who were wrestling with their reaction to people losing weight so your favorite fat creator doesn't want to be fat anymore here are six mind step tips to pro process your journey in self-loving the way you, honestly if my kid i wish i hope if i do ever do have kids that they're not this redacted and they're not this soft because imagine your whole life being thrown off kilter because your favorite influencer decided to fucking start doing some sit-ups imagine if that was your kid i'd feel so ashamed i'd be so embarrassed if my kid's whole day week life was ruined because it's like come on i know it's disappointing i get it because you look up to people but it's not that deep like you go you have to relax so here are the tears of steps if you are a fan of a fat influencer and you're finding it hard to do with their weight loss here's some steps that you can help yourself with right courtesy of sarah sapora so you're for the, let's see what the steps are what are the steps show me these fuckers there. let's see let's see what they are actually let me post oops is it posting come on bro let me see the steps i want to see the steps i want to see the steps Let's see what they're saying here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, why is it why did it move away from again? Oh man, I have to find it all over again. God damn. There you go. So if every fat influencer doesn't want it, yeah, there you go. So so this is this is a real fat girl too, by, by the way. This is a real fatty, right? This lady here is a real fatty. So if you're if you're somebody that got duped by this one, then that's your own fault because this lady is just somebody that look. She got a new boyfriend. She got a new job. She moved back home. This just looks like happy fat. This is like a real like she's been fat since she was like two years old. Do you know what I mean? This is somebody you should be listening to. To be fair, but hey, what do I know? Let's let's see what she's talking about here, Miss Sarah. Um, let's see what her tips are. The rise of GLPs has made the process of weight loss easier and more accessible for many people. This means in general, um, we are seeing more and more creators who gained recognition for loving their fat bodies, suddenly demonstrating their desire to change or showing off their change. Every person has the right to want to lose weight or to change their body, but it, in this case, it can feel superior. Sorry, it can feel super emotional for the community that follows them. <laughs> big disclaimer i support someone's desire to weight loss okay cool one their journey has 100 percent nothing to do with you you also have no idea what their lived experience is and even if you did that's their choice i agree with that that's good advice two it feels really icky if you and you think their voice has been disingenuous stop listening to them i like that that's, a, that's my favorite advice if it feels really icky and you feel like their voice has been disingenuous, stop listening. Exactly. Vote with your fucking feet. Vote with your follows. Three, not every community leader has their shit together. Don't assume just because they have a large platform that their words are aligned and helpful. I like this girl. This is fucking good advice. I'm not going to lie. Four, yes, some folks may have used their fat identity to get popular and are now abandoning ship. That sucks. But sometimes people suck. Let them. Yo, this Sarah woman is banging. I've, I'm, I'm going to like this. I've, I love all of this shit. She's spitting some facts here. Let me like that shit. Big up Sarah. Five, focus on you. Love it. And the subtext here, parasocial relationships for consuming, but you can learn from them to help you figure out your own values. Relationships change both in real life and online changes data, and it gives you permission to learn yourself. I love this or to better learn yourself. Sorry six relationships are built on agreements when someone changes their agreement you are empowered to end relationship i love this really really banging advice from her i love all of that stuff but again i'd be depressed and annoyed and pissed off if my child was that fucking fragile that they needed six steps to kind of wane them off their favorite influencer because they decided to put down a croissant that would hurt me 
The longtime Curve model Gabriella Lascano filmed a TikTok video last year about her decision to lose weight, explaining that she felt guilty for being a part of the body positivity movement. Let's see what this woman looks like. Long time curve model. Who does this person? Let's see what Gabriella Lascano looks like. Oh, so so she, so she's now skinny. Let's see what she looks like because she's that's a big girl. What's her weight loss journey look like? Because that's a that's a big 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 woman. What does she look like now? Where's the weight loss? I don't see no weight loss here. Hmm. Not sure about that one, mate. I'm not sure Gabriella's been sticking to the program. <laughs> I think Gabriella's been. I don't think she's been sticking to the program. Let's check her Instagram. I don't think she's been sticking to the program. I don't see much change here. Oh no, I do see a change. Yeah, she's definitely smaller here. To be fair, yeah, she's definitely smaller. Let me take that back. She definitely looks a lot smaller here. To be fair to her, fair play, fair play. She's already quite short anyway. I think when you're a woman and you're super short and you're super fat. It just looks crazy anyway. So she probably, you know, owe it to herself to lose a couple of LBs. But she definitely does look a lot smaller there than the pictures I showed earlier because she was, yeah, she's definitely a lot smaller. You can tell even from here. Look, even the arms. Fuck, man. Ozempic works, isn't it? Ozempic fucking works because this lady was huge. Oh, of course she's married. Of course she's married to a black guy. <laughs> of course she's married to a black guy. <laughs> Of course, she's married to a black guy. Who would have guessed it, eh? Uh, she's like, how did you know I was? How did you know I had a black husband? <laughs> it's like, girl, come on, come on, girl, come on. Big up Gabriella though. Big up Gabriella because she was huge before and she's definitely lost a lot of weight now. So big up her. Let's go back to the article. Gabriella Lascano filmed a TikTok last year saying that she felt guilty. Um, about being about the body, 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 body positive movement. She told the Times that she hadn't been honest about the trials and tribulations of gaining weight and getting older. People accused her of um, equating fitness with health and producing content that could be used as justifying fat phobia. The outrage was so intense that she removed the video. Wow. I think it's strange to be hurt when somebody chooses something for themselves, Mr. Scano said, but influencers' personal choices affect the community they've cultivated, often leaving followers, um, especially vulnerable young people feeling disillusioned and adrift those who appear to flip-flop can cause intense feelings of betrayal said sally a t ran a clinical psychologist and professor whatever if i think if you're going to put yourself out there and if you're going to earn money then you're positioning yourself as a leader in this domain and you should take responsibility for your, for your repercussions exactly that, that i don't understand why people run away from it people want to be thought leaders they want to be hot take mcgees mcgeesters but then when people pull up you know call them out for it suddenly it's like oh I'm, don't take me seriously i'm just a young little girl it continues on a recent episode of burnt toast podcast covering the rise of fat influencers losing weight virginia soul smith a journalist who writes diet culture and who has also contributed to the times said that the influencers who once promoted fat acceptance now claim that they feel healthier when they are thinner are throwing everyone else under the bus <laughs> they only say this because they were all this is the truth no one wants to say this they were all too lazy to work out it was easier just to eat and be fat that's the easiest thing to do we can all do that we can all just sit around and eat a, a copious amount of food and be fat we can all do it it's easy to do but to actually be disciplined enough to work out hard and to eat healthily that's the hard thing to do and most people don't want to do that and now that we've got a drug that eliminates any amount of work any amount of effort of course everyone's jumping on it especially these fatties you used to um you use the hashtag in order to grow your following in order to post your affiliate links get your sponsored deals all of that miss soul smith said so now that you're basically telling us that you're co-opted all this rhetoric and you don't believe it all and it's all pretty gross which is true because most people that's the thing that i've learned and i think i've been very honest with myself when it comes to fucking content creation i'm full of shit I think I'm very aware I'm full of shit, but I'm also, in, I also enjoy calling out other people's talking shit, you know, like, I know I'm full of shit, but it doesn't mean that I don't then I enjoy talking about other people calling them out on their bullshit, but I think most people, for some reason, I don't know why, I think the power of the microphone just makes them feel as if like, oh, I have the microphone, or I'm automatically speaking truth, or I'm speaking truth to power, it's like, no, most of the time we're all talking our ass. Most of the time, we all can be bought and sold easily. 
But knowing that and being aware of that is the is the win in itself, really. But again, I could be wrong. Her co-host, Corrine Fay, said that she thought that it was better for influencers to be up front um, if they were using weight loss drugs instead of vaguely claiming to be pursuing, uh, pursuing health. They don't want to call it a diet, so it's called a health and fitness journey that's pretty exasperating. Last bit, I think. Few people, if any, become body positivity proponents without struggling with the same societal standards they speak out against. I've seen creators say things like, it's just too hard. Life is too hard in this body, um, said Katie St Storino, a body acceptance advocate. It can feel like betrayal, but it's a symptom of our culture and how our society is still the worst thing to be fat. People are still terrified of being a bigger body. I think that should still be the case, though. I think largely we should all still be in a situation where we should all live in a world where being fat isn't glorified to the point where it's accepted as if like that's a good thing. You should strive to be healthy. You know, you should strive to be as, I want to say thin, as small as you can be. I think for the most part, most of you would feel, especially women, like when it comes to clothes and stuff like, it's just certain things you just completely ice yourself out of because of your bigger body. And if you can, if you can, um, through some effort and through some hard work you know make yourself smaller then why not why wouldn't you do that why wouldn't you give yourself that grace you know what i mean like i don't know i don't know maybe maybe i'm mistaken there are some people like this girl here she doesn't look like again she doesn't look super fat and she does look like she's kind of what, what people would term to be big boned like she looks really tall as well to be fair she might be like you know she looks kind of tall big girl so maybe it's a diff it's a bit more harder for her to kind of you know get around the whole idea of being smaller because her frame is always going to be a particular size but i don't know man i don't know i don't know i find this stuff sad you know i'm not gonna lie i find this stuff sad when they do these side by sides with like a fat person doing like a similar style of what taylor swift wore and doing it in a fat way i find that stuff really depressing i'm not gonna lie i see those pictures a lot sometimes i'm like Ugh. Anyway, it can fill up with the Miss Davis acknowledged that um, with her weight loss came affirmation, more party invitations. Wow, more attention from men. <laughs> That's what women really want, isn't it? That's what they really want, isn't it? More attention from men. Oh, that's the that's the truth of the matter, isn't it? Miss Davis acknowledged that with her weight loss came affirmations, more party invitations, more attention from men. I I so sadly want so I so badly want to be like what you look like don't matter but it sure does change how people treat you that is never been more true a word said there miss young, young lady what you look like doesn't matter but it sure does change how people treat you hear he hear he so um really recommend you check it out it's a really fun little article here it's titled they promoted body positivity then they lost weight i'm going to actually link to it in the flipping um stream chat so you can check it yourself but i'm also going to add it in the description for those of you that want to see it but it's a really fun article really really interesting loads of interesting little insights there to check out so definitely make sure you do if you've that way inclined definitely make sure you do if you're that way inclined